You know, no one wants to really talk about how exhausting entrepreneurship can be. I mean, entrepreneurship right now is like really trending. Like everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. Everyone wants to start their business. But for those that have been doing this for a long time, and I mean, I started my entrepreneurship journey almost 10 years ago. It is very exhausting, especially if you're doing it all on your own. If you're a solopreneur, which when first getting started, a lot of entrepreneurs are. There was a time in my life where I was very, very burnt out. I, lot, I had a lot of personal issues and that bled over into my work life and honestly it was a hot mess and because I didn't really understand the concept of burnout, I had burnt myself all the way out. Now, I don't know if any of you entrepreneurs or creatives feel like this but I feel like as an entrepreneur um, and a creative I am always on like I always have to be on and I don't know if it's because of social media or if it's just because that is the nature of our business but it can really be exhausting when you feel like you're always working and you always have to be on like I literally went to Dubai for my birthday and because I'm also an actor, um, my team was submitting me and I got an audition in Dubai. And let me just tell you, I am so happy that I had my equipment and that I was on even when I was supposed to be off because I had to submit that audition. Now, I've pretty much found my groove with my, you know, entrepreneurial life and also my personal life. But for a while there, it was touch and go, mainly because I didn't really understand how much work was required in order for me to get to like where I want to be. So I'm happy that I had like my tools and stuff and my camera equipment and stuff in uh, Dubai in order to film that audition. But when you think about it, it, it's kind of like sad that there really isn't a clear line between, you know, when you're working and when you're off as an entrepreneur, as a creative, as a content creator, you kind of always have to be on and you know, now I can handle it better, but there was a time where it was just too much. I was on one side, I either was really, really, you know, into working and I was grinding and I was hustling and I was doing the damn thing. And then there was too much work and not enough life, right? Because I believe that, you know, I work to live. I don't live to work, you know? <laughs> I want to enjoy life for everything that it has to, to offer me. And then there was another time where I was enjoying life way too much. I was, you know, just living life and I totally really kind of had my priorities messed up. I had put my, um, I mean, I don't even know if I can really say it like this. I was going to say I had to put my personal life and all of that before my work. But I, again, it's like, well, you kind of, you do need to have that. You do need to put your personal life in front of everything because it's that's your life, you know? That is your life. But I do believe there is a fine balance, you know? You do have to balance where you spend your time and whether that is, you know, you're working or you're out with your family or you're doing the things that you love, you have to find that balance. Now, I did say at the beginning of this video that I was going to do the whole entire video in bed. That is not the case. I do wanna switch it up for you, but comment down below, have you ever felt like you have experienced burnout? Do you ever feel like you are just so exhausted from this whole entrepreneurial, you know, creative thing? Comment down below because for a long time I didn't have a like a name for it. I didn't know that it was called burnout, but at a point in my life, I really just could not convince myself to move to do anything in the direction of entrepreneurship and being a creative that just like wasn't the case so comment down below if you have and let me know what you did that really help you get out of that now for me it was very very hard to get out of burnout because i didn't quite have my priorities set i didn't really understand you know why i was doing the things i was doing and to be honest once i set my priorities it all made sense i said this in earlier in the video but it really clicked for me when i realized that 
I work to live. I don't live to work. I am not of that generation where we go to work and that's all we do, you know? I don't work for the man, you know? I am my own man. <laughs> I work for myself and so when I realized that I had all the freedom in the world to do whatever I wanted to do that's when the game changed and that's when I started to realize oh I need to look at this differently I can't be working 12 to 16 hours that is not something that I want to do you know I try to have a good kind of presence on the internet I try to be positive as much as possible but I'm I'm, a, I'm just a very realistic person and I try not to be morbid on this channel but at the end of the day we don't know what life has in store for us so while it's good or while it's not that bad I'm going to enjoy it and hold on to it for as long as I can. Being burnt out as an entrepreneur and creative can be really dangerous. Um, it can be really dangerous to our mental health, to our physical health, and to our businesses and brands that we've worked so hard to build and develop and grow. And a lot of the times we are solopreneurs. We are the only or the main one on our team. So when we fall, you know, Things tend to fall around us because we haven't quite set in place the systems to keep the business and the brand going when we can't go, you know, when we can't go any further. And so I would suggest if you are feeling um, burnt out or overwhelmed or exhausted, just stop. Stop what you're doing because you trying to, to keep going, you trying to move forward at the energy level and at the tolerance level well, is not doing you any favors and it's not doing your business or brand any favors so really take whatever time you need there is no you know specific time um, frame that you should take in order to get better or to really get unstuck and to to get rejuvenated it's all dependent on how you process things right and and what's truly needed so take the time that you need and don't let anyone tell you otherwise you know i literally just got on the ground so i'm getting ready to do something that allows me to stay in the moment stay rejuvenated and that is my stretching. So something that helped me during my burnout was one, taking small steps, but two, just doing a small thing every single day that allowed me to be grounded and to be in tune with myself. And so for you, choose an activity. If you are feeling burnt out, choose an activity, choose a small activity that you can do every single day to help you keep going, to help you feel rejuvenated. And for me, I chose stretching. That's, you know, I have this pack with myself. It's like, I'm going to do the bare minimum every single day. And that is drinking water for me and that is stretching. <laughs> and if I do that, I have had a good day. And if I don't do that, I also understand that tomorrow is a new day. So comment down below, what, what, what thing are you going to do every single day that's going to help you feel rejuvenated and not experience burnout and if you haven't found that thing yet it's okay just try new things every single day and, and one day it will click i'll see you in the next video